Now your Super Doppler 10 forecast with meteorologist Jeremy Wheeler. All right, inauguration day forecast. This is for Washington, D.C. If you're headed up there, you've got a friend or a loved one up that way. Uh, well, unfortunately, it looks like they're going to see some rain showers. There's a pretty good chance uh, around noontime, some scattered showers. Temperatures will be in the 40s, so it'll be a little bit chilly. And so just keep that in mind if you're traveling up to Washington, D.C. for the big event. That's for tomorrow. All right, so uh, locally, we've got some rain moving in tomorrow as well. Today's dry, we get no rain expected. Tomorrow, 60% chance. That's mostly for the uh, early afternoon, but there might be some in the morning. And then, well, we're dry on Saturday, but then Sunday, Monday, and maybe even Tuesday, we get some pretty high rain chances. Looks like it's going to be a, a soggy seven day forecast with just a few breaks in there. So enjoy today. We got some dry weather and cooler weather, which has worked in along with this cold front. This cold front, let's call it a cool front more so. Uh, it has dropped to our south. And highs today are going to be in the 50s. We'll see fair skies. We've got kind of a thin band of clouds over us right now, but high pressure generally is in the region. And then notice there's that system back to the west setting up, and that's going to be what's going to give us that rain for tomorrow. It's an area of low pressure along with a warm front. Uh, the front's not really going to make it through, but the area of low pressure will come on by. Now here's Super Doppler 10. We are dry for today, and we're going to stay dry. It looks good. From 7 a.m. onward, we're going to see a lot of sunshine. And so finally, I think we're going to have a day where we see pretty much full sunshine throughout the entire day. There will be some thin clouds, but uh, I mean, we've got nice weather out there for the entire day. Noontime, 3 p.m., there you go. Fair skies. Highs will be in the 50s and uh, good looking weather. Six o'clock, we'll see fair skies and dry weather for tonight, but the clouds will increase tonight. You can clearly see that on future track. And then tomorrow, well, we've got some rain showers. Now in the morning, we might see at least a few showers and some drizzle. And then between noon and 3 p.m., the rain really picks up. So that'll be our best chance of rain in the early afternoon and the mid afternoon hours. And then uh, still kind of lingering there around five o'clock, but it should be moving out. And then we'll dry things out for Friday night. We'll be dry for Saturday. And then as you saw, Sunday, Monday, we've got quite a bit of wet weather moving in. Now for temperatures, we're sitting in the low 40s in Newport News, Norfolk, upper 30s in Virginia Beach, and here's the downtown temperature in Portsmouth, 43 degrees. Uh, inland, it's probably in the low to mid 30s. That reads a little bit cool. And then 36 Chesapeake, 42 in Hampton, 40 in Suffolk, 41 degrees in Williamsburg. We've got fair skies out there. And notice on the tower cam, there's no fog, so uh, that's not a problem for us. But I am watching to see if any forms. It looked like it was trying to form in a few spots coming in to work earlier this morning. So our temperatures this afternoon, low 50s in Melfa, Virginia Beach, Norfolk, Hampton will be about 54 in Williamsburg and then some mid 50s in here, Northeast North Carolina, Currituck, uh, Kerala and Elizabeth City, mid 50s. Lots of sunshine, dry and cool, north winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Again, for this time of year, pretty good day. The average high is uh, 48 and so we're going for a little bit above that. And we'll be above average for the next few days. Look at that, 56 on Friday, some scattered showers, dry on Saturday, highs near 60. And then Sunday, Monday, and it looks like Tuesday morning at least, we'll see rain showers, but at least it's going to be warm. Highs will be in the 60s.